Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my gingerbread house for 2021. This year, I'm going to make not just one gingerbread house. I'm going to make a gingerbread house village. The inspiration for this gingerbread village is actually a holiday destination that me and my family went a few years ago for a skiing holiday around Christmas time. In the village they have um, what they call Olympic Plaza and that's what I base this on. It's white outside And the night is cold Everyone's lighting candles in their home Christmas It's a magic time You can feel it in the air That every child Got their hearts filled up With joy Yes, it's Christmas All Snow is falling down, all the colored lights lighting up this town. And as I walk outside, hear the Christmas choir sing, Merry Christmas to you. Now it's time to make the dough. Bear in mind that this recipe is not for eating, guys. For this, we need some gingerbread spices. Caster sugar, some eggs, plain flour, and kofa. In the eating one, you need butter, but kofa it makes it um, it doesn't spread as much when you bake it. So the first thing you need is caster sugar, and then you have your melted kofa, and then some molasses, some eggs. And then you mix all these wet ingredients. I'm making three batches here, guys. Now it's time to put the spices. We use ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, and some salt. At this point, I realized that my mixing bowl is not big enough to mix in three batches of flowers. So I have to mix the flowers in three stages. This is me mixing a third of the wet mixture with a third of the flour. And then I repeat it two more times to get all the flour incorporated into the dough. Now that all the flours has been mixed into the dough properly, um, the last thing I have to do is just combine those three batches into one giant batch and then I'll refrigerate it overnight, ready for rolling tomorrow. It's the next morning now. As you can see, I bought two new ornaments for the tree. One is a hot chili and the other one is mocha pot. The dough that I made yesterday is now at a room temperature. So it's ready for me to roll it out. And as you can see there, I'm rolling it out straight onto a baking sheet. So after rolling it out, it's easy for me to move it into the freezer to freeze for at least 30 minutes. But in the end, I ended up leaving it um, overnight because I wasn't ready to use the rolled out sheets. I've decided to have afternoon tea and I had mince pies from Baker's Delight. It was really nice. I think they make the best mince pies I have ever eaten. I don't normally um, that keen on mince pies, but I like theirs. Today I'm ready to cut the dough into some shapes. I'm using the template that I cut out a um, few days ago. Frozen dough is definitely easier to work with, guys. Um, warm 
and soft dough they move around too much um, frozen dough seems to keep the shapes um, a lot better so yeah enjoy the montage of me cutting millions of rolled out sheets <laughs> After you cut the dough into shapes, you can't put it into the oven straight away um, because the dough has um, softened while you're cutting. So you make sure you put it back into the freezer for at least 30 minutes again and then you can bake it in the oven. This is just to prevent the dough from spreading while it's being baked in the oven. After the 30 minutes, I'm ready to bake it in 150 Celsius degree oven for 45 minutes. After hours and hours of baking gingerbread cookies, we went to celebrate my birthday and we went to Rick Garage at Palmwoods restaurant. Unfortunately, I didn't buy enough hard lollies to make the windows for all my houses. So I have to make my own windows now out of um, sugar. So here I'm melting some caster sugar. 
until it's fully melted and then I color it with a blue color and I also make some red and then green as well later on and then mix it thoroughly until all the colors is correct and then you just pour it onto a baking sheet and let it harden basically I didn't know you can do this um, prior to yesterday so this is all my glass and I decided to turn some into river as well look how pretty that color is like opal and that's me using the window in one of the big house so yeah that works quite well everything is calm now it's midnight everybody's Before decorating my gingerbread houses, I thought I'd try this new coffee that I just got from Starbucks yesterday. Um, it's their Christmas blend. As you can see on my face there, I'm not too impressed with it. It's not horrible. Um, it tastes chocolatey. It just doesn't taste Christmassy to me.
Well, I'm all for Christmas. All the happy smiles and the wishes. And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow Whatever we do, we will be alright These holiday wonders will open your mind May all your wishes tonight come true I live the dream I knew This Christmas 